All right, welcome back everyone. This is the Happy Toolbox. And this week I'll be showing you how to make a procedural oil slick material that looks kind of like this. This might be fairly straightforward to some of you and it will definitely be straightforward after this tutorial. But I ran into needing a material like this during a project and I figured I'd just make a quick tutorial about it. So if you're interested, follow along. All right, since this is mainly about the texturing, I already have my floor set up, my object set up, and my lighting set up. I have this edge octane light uh, off currently because it kind of blows out the scene, uh, but I'll probably use that. But it's a very straightforward daylight scene. Um, and so to create our oil slick material, let's first just throw a color on the background here. So create extension C40 octane, octane material. Uh, I'm going to throw this on the floor. Let's change this to a color, kind of that greenish teal color I had going on. I liked how that was looking. Make sure our render preview's going. Okay, there we go. Um, also, this model I have here, uh, that is part of our splash pack on the happytoolbox.com. We have all of these pre modeled splash assets. That's Pour03 if you'd like to follow along. Okay, so let's create a new C4D octane material. And let's throw that on our pour 03, go into here, change it from a diffuse to a glossy. And then what we wanna focus on primarily are the diffuse channel. We obviously want this to be black, kinda of like an oil slick, but we want it to have more depth and have that kind of rainbowy oil slick material going on. Um, and first and foremost, the way you get that rainbow slick material is actually in the film layer. The film layer uh, section is basically um, what Octane sees is kind of this thin film uh, that might go over things. A lot of times this is used for soap bubbles to get kind of that irradiance throughout. Um, so if I were to go up, it kind of becomes uniform, one subtle color. Uh, I know this is hard to see, but it'll get a little more prominent once we start adding a few more effects. Um, but if you go all the way down to like one, you can kind of see, okay, now there's kind of this dark red, there's these blues, there's these greens, and these yellow highlights. So there's a lot more going on here than that. So we want our film IOR to one. We want our film layer float to be around 0.27. It's kind of those nice blue, purpley uh, greens that are in an oil slick material. And then we want to go to our index and jack up the index. And so index is, um, again, IOR values of materials. Uh, the higher the index, the shinier and glossier it is. Um, and so we want to just kind of exaggerate that a ton and bump this up from 1.3 to 1.5. Mm, let's go a little bit higher, 1.6. Just kind of get there. And then this obviously looks a little cartoony. It's way too um, reflective. And so we want to go into our roughness. And um, you could, you know, you could turn this up. But again, it's, it's a little too even for what I want. And so what I like to do is in texture, go to C4D Octane and add a marble. And what a marble does is it's just kind of a black and white texture map that Octane has built in that allows you to um, adjust a few settings. It's kind of like noise, um, but has more streaks and uh, movement throughout it than the Octane noise pattern. And so for power, we don't want this too extreme. For Omega, we want this a little more extreme. So up to like 0.85, you can start to see some of these lines happening here. Um, Variance, we want to double this, so let's put that to one. So again, you start getting even more streaks going on here. And then octaves, let's bump this up to about eight. If you want to, you can kind of mess with the offset for a very specific uh, texture placement, obviously UV transform and projection as well. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this little octane side light on, see how that's looking. I feel like that's pretty nice. I'm just gonna leave that there. So I got a little extra edge highlight. I can see my offset a little bit more. Obviously textures are a ton about lighting, but I feel like this oil slick texture, once you understand you know, how film layer, IOR, and float work alongside of the index and pushing that up, you get this really nice iridescent look. And this works really well for, like I said, soap bubbles and soap. 
things to that nature. Um, but yeah, hope this helps. Uh, if you'd like this video and subscribe to the channel, that would help us out a ton. And as always, if you're interested in any 3D models, head on over to thehappytoolbox.com. This uh, splash is from our splash pack where we have all of these awesome 3D models uh, in the shapes of splashes. All right, I'll see you next time.